Welcome back to Somi's Chai and Chat. Have you ever had to go through some insult that lasted a big wound in your heart and reminded you of the situation not to get into it again in your life ever? In today's episode we will go through one of those episodes that Gandhi went through after he came back from UK. and before he moved to south africa stay tuned we already went through the episode where he got insulted and felt embarrassed in the court in bombay when he was defending one of the clients He moves back from Bombay to Rajkot where his brother was and he sets up his new office with the help of his brother. Gandhi shares an experience working with a British officer when he was in Rajkot. This is a situation when Gandhi was doing okay in Rajkot and he had one of the works that he had to defend his own brother. And the situation was set in a way that Gandhi would not do it because it was against his principles the scenario here is the brother had been a secretary and advisor to one of those um, people the higher uh, in the hierarchy people and he was charged of having given wrong advice when he was in that office so this ma- matter had gone to the political agent and that political agent was prejudiced against gandhi's brother so therefore gandhi had known one of those officers when he was in england and therefore gandhi's brother thought that gandhi can help him with his influence that he can save his brother bring out from that wrong charge that he was labeled with Gandhi's um, what what he thought in this matter his argument was that if his brother was really at fault then what was the use of Gandhi's recommendation to go to that English officer and he was not at his at, he was an innocent he was not at fault then he should submit a petition to the in the proper court and get this sorted on his own because he was confident of his innocence however gandhi's brother said you don't know how things work in india it's good to have influence and use that when it is necessary especially for your own family members gandhi could not refuse his brother so he went to the officer and uh, he approached him with the uh, compromising his own self respect as he puts it because in his gut he believed this to be not falling in his line of principles when he met that officer he reminded him of the old acquaintance in england when he met him however the setup was totally different that officer was in england and he was also defending for his brother and that officer directly asked him sure you have come here not to abuse that acquaintance but gandhi was impatient and uh, he opened up the argument there in this situation gandhi pleads and compromises on his self respect he goes on with saying that i was blind with selfishness and i kept going on with my story until it made the officer angry 
and he called his peon and ordered him to show gandhi the door and even still gandhi was hesitant to leave and until peon almost forced him to leave that place he was angry he was fretting and fuming and he went out he also felt that he was being insulted and he got assaulted by the peon and he just left at that point gandhi has a very bad memory of this experience and it left a big wound in his heart he mentions about feroz shah mehta at this time who was there and he was about to take his cases and um, mentions that the experience to him where feroz shah mehta consoles gandhi saying these things happen and you are still a beginner fresh from uk for trying who is trying to understand how things work and therefore this is just the beginning you need to know life still and gandhi's quotes the bitter poison to him which he had to swallow the insult and keep this memory forever to come but at the same time it was a turning point for him never ever exploit a relationship use a friendship for anything it ends up sometimes feeling you left leaving you feeling guilty for the breach of that relationship and leaves a big shock in the life which it did for gandhi as i was reading this i started thinking about my own life experiences which i must have used my friends influences on getting things done and i surely have how did i feel back then did i feel proud that i had such good friends who could get the work done was i happy that the work got done or was i more focused on having the relationship with people who were so influential that i forgot that i should become more influential rather than using people who are already influential these thoughts ran into my mind and i started thinking who are those people who i probably used them and have i been ever used for other people's work that also came into my mind blessed are those people who are clear in these thoughts and have very clear mindset early in their lives even with the smallest experiences they come to their own path and they never give up who they are the unique themselves of course things work very differently in india compared to western worlds nevertheless what do we believe in can we compromise is it true us does it want to compromise on those values or do we want to go with the flow reflect on those and we will come back with another episode take care Thank you.